Welcome back to the Josie and Rachel Show here on Channel 11, produced by Mitchell Hay. Yes, welcome back. Now today is a very important day. Oh yeah? Why is that? Well, it's National Invasive Species Day. This day was made to inform those who don't know a lot about an invasive species. So what kind of species are we talking about? Well, thanks to Mitchell Hay, I got the privilege to travel out to Minnesota to discover an invasive species. I went and learned about the rusty crayfish. Well, tell us, Rachel, what did you learn? Well, the rusty crayfish are a problem because they are an aggressive species. They reduce the aquatic plant life and the diverse life by destroying all the plants they eat. Wow, that is a problem. We're losing a lot of plant life. How can we tell if a crayfish that we see every day is a rusty crayfish? Well, these crayfish have dark, rusty-colored spots on their back. They also have large, smooth claws that have black bands around at the tips. I'll have to keep my eye open for those. What other impacts do the rusty crayfish have on the environment? Well, the rusty crayfish deprive native fish of their food source. Also, these crayfish attack the feet of people who are swimming. Wow, that's insane. Where can we find these animals? The first sighting of a rusty crayfish was in 1967 over in Minnesota at the Otter Creek. Since the first sighting, they have expanded to about 50 different water sources in Minnesota. The crayfish inhabit lakes, ponds, and small streams. They like to be under rocks and other things that provide cover and protection. You said they destroy plant life while they eat, so what do they consume? Well, according to those over at the Minnesota Sea Grant, the rusty crayfish are considered an opportunistic feeder. They eat a diverse list of aquatic plants. They also eat snails, clams, crustaceans, fish eggs, small fish, and even decaying material. This is all very interesting. What do we do if we see one of these creatures? The best thing to do would be to call your local game commission. They can come and take care of it. In Pennsylvania, you shouldn't have to worry too much about them because they aren't really around here. Sounds good. Thank you for all your information that you shared today with us. I'm Josie. And I'm Rachel, and we're signing off. Join us next time on the Josie and Rachel Show where we'll be have exclusive information on Waka Flocka Flame and his run for presidency.